Hey guys, what's up? This is T-Bone Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to delete all your jailbreak data without losing any of your non-jailbreak data, like plants versus zombies or racing games or just games in general. Facebook, Twitter, you don't want to have to sign in all those, on all those networks. You just want it to be right there when you update. And of course, uh, when you update to iOS 7, you can just update, but you're going to have all this jailbreak uh, tweaks and stuff um, still on your device, uh, taking up memory and making it unusable, uh, which of course nobody wants. So to fix that, all you're going to go is into settings. You're going to go into um, iCloud, so you're probably going to scroll down. If you're on iPad, you don't have to scroll down. You just click on iCloud, storage, and backup. And what you're going to do is you're just going to back it up. I just backed it up uh, a minute ago, so I don't need to back it up again. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go on your computer and restore the device because iCloud does not save any or back up any uh, jailbreak information or any jailbreak tweaks or any jailbreak apps. It's just all going to be deleted. So what you're going to do is you're going to restore your iPad using your computer. Alright, so the next step here is going to be restoring your iPad to factory settings. And once you have restored it to factory settings, um, you're going to have nothing on it, just the version the newest version of iOS which is iOS 6.1.3 um, right now when we restore it and then um, later tonight iOS 7 will come out and then you can just update to that um, once that comes out so I'm gonna show you guys how to so you're just gonna restore iPad don't back up to the computer we already backed up to iCloud so we're not gonna back up to the computer restore and update and we're just going to hit continue Next, of course, uh, ahead of time, I already read through all this. I just hit the camera again. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to hit agree. So now it's going to download the software update. And apparently this is going to take about 13 minutes. Um, so I'm just going to come back to you guys once that has finished downloading. So as you guys can see, it is restoring the iPad uh, firmware right now, and I'm just going to show you guys my iPad. I'm sorry that it's a little out of focus right here, but as you can see, it is uh, um, just going to boot up right now now that it has restored. So now it's just going to be rebooting, so I'm just going to expedite this process right now. Alright, so now that we have restored, we are just going to see where it says iPad right here, and we're going to restore from iCloud backup like I was talking about earlier, after you guys backed up, obviously, before you restored your iPad. So we're just going to hit next right here, and we're going to sign in, and I'm going to come right back after I'm done. Alright, so now that we have signed in with your Apple ID, which is obviously where iCloud is at, we're just going to accept the terms and um, agree to them. And as you guys can see right here, you're going to choose the backup. So you're just going to choose the most recent one so you don't lose any data. So it'll be the exact same as before. Um, so you're just going to make sure this is the, the today, the one that I just did. Um, so as you guys can see, and it should be, take about 20 minutes. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Uh, it should give a progress bar at some point. So this will take about 20 minutes. I'm going to skip ahead of this. Um, just because you guys don't want to sit here for 20 minutes uh, looking at my progress bar. Alright, so now that you guys um, see it says restoring from my iPad, and what it does is it downloads all of your apps again that you had previously downloaded, but it saves all your information from iCloud and brings them back to the apps. So that's where everything is going to be, like your Twitter information, your Facebook information, your email, all your information is going to be right there. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do hit that like button down below. Subscribe to this channel for more how-tos. If you guys got any questions, leave comments down below. I'll try to answer most of them. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace out.